Hey, welcome everybody. This is Bobby Krauss, DSA at Falls Church High School. I uh, just want to welcome you to Falls Church High School. We currently are under a $130 million renovation. So um, as we welcome you to Falls Church, we also want to caution you that uh, parking is definitely at a premium as we kind of take the next two or three years to transform our school into a, a fantastic uh, place to learn and, and play sports. So uh, most people will... Uh, Access Full Church High School along Jaguar Trail. So if you're coming off 495 or heading east on 50 at the light, you come through. Um, a lot in the past, most of our athletics would, would take this little Jaguar Trail offshoot and park in our Dory parking lot. And you can see this is a little bit of, of an older map, but there's already a lot of trailers that are taking up a good part of the por uh, portion of the parking that used to exist there. And there's actually even then some more trailers added. So there's only about 40 parking spaces here. Uh, we do have a bus loop that you cannot park in either. Uh, so you basically want to avoid this, we call the door eight or the west parking lot as much as possible. Um, if you are going to be on RF2, which is our back practice field down here, or using our varsity softball field, the best place to park is actually right here. This used to be what we call the little league field. Now it's been turned into a parking lot. So what you do is you just drive past the front of the school. You can turn into the, into the parking lot here. Uh, this is technically Jack's Lane, or you can turn right on Holly Hill Drive and access it coming this way. I would be careful not to drive into the construction site. It's usually marked pretty well, but there is a uh, parking lot up here with about 70 spaces, and there's a dedicated path that you can take along here, and you can walk right to softball. The path also does continue. This area here right now is construction staging, so you'll see a lot of materials, but there is a path that's all um, fenced off that you can follow all the way down to RF2. That's where you're going to want to access our facility uh, uh, the easiest possible way. There is uh, some part here, which is usually taken up really quickly by just false church activities. Uh, the weekend, you're welcome to park here if, if the lot's open. It's not shut down for construction. The big thing is, though, that you cannot drive down this access road. There's too many people up in this track area, so we're, we don't allow anyone to drive down in here. So you can park here and walk the rest of the way. Um, Again, there should be no parking around the track, up the hill or anything like that. And there's the fence now has been closed and chained and locked. And the only way that you'll have to park and just walk up through here. Once we start activities though, um, walking up through here, if we have an event going on, everybody who comes past the, the ticket booth will have to pay. So another reason to go ahead and park in this back lot, feel free to park along the side of the building over here. It's a little bit of a longer walk, but you're more than welcome to park here. And again, this is all this back here is completely gone. So. Um, you can park along the east side of the building or the new gravel lot up here. If you have any questions, give us a call at Full Search High School, 703-207-4025.